the Goni Sexy Beast. My name is Old Core Chief, and welcome back to Dying Light. This time, we are playing the following. The following DLC is the following of Crane's story, <laughs> pretty much. And it's the end of Crane's story as well. So, without further ado, let's continue the journey of Kyle Crane himself. I have love in me, the likes of which you can scarcely imagine, and rage the likes of which you would not believe. If I cannot satisfy the one, I will indulge the other. Don't, 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 please, please, don't, don't make me... Uh, you said he talked about magic and... what? Domesticated zombies? He talked about a group of people who don't get infected, don't, don't, even if they're bitten. No, no. Delirious people will say anything. He was holding this map when we brought him in. Whoa. It, it, this looks like... A way out of Haran. Crane, we are running out of fantasy. We have to explore every possibility. We can't wait any longer. <laughs> yeah, baby! Our runners brought in a badly wounded, delirious man, raving about people immune to the virus. He had a map showing the way out of a run. There are more and more sick people here, and not enough Antizen. And Camden's research hasn't borne any fruit yet. I've got to check every lead. Ha ha ha! We are here! Had to get a quick thumbnail! Lena, do you copy? Yeah, listen, your one-eyed delirious patient, he was telling the truth. There is a way out. It may be what he said about people who don't turn is true. He died this morning, Kyle. The fever got him. You're on your own, I'm afraid. Lena? Lena! God, fucking mountains. Why does it sound like that? Is it... I don't know. Oh, fuck me. All right, that looks deep. Geronimo! Oh, I would shit and piss myself at the same time doing that shit. Why is this so damn echoey? Excuse me. Well, that place looks occupied, more or less. What do you want? I need to talk to someone in charge. I'm from Haran. Oh, you a smuggler? You work for the crook, huh? Look, I don't know anything about any smuggling, pal. I'm here, just... I need some help. As for Jasir, but understand this. If you steal anything, you lose your hands. Good to know. What the hell? Oh, so if you want to get rid of the echoing, and you're on Xbox, you go to your settings, to your volume, and you set it to stereo uncompressed. Hi, excuse me. I don't know anything. Look, could you just tell me where to find someone who does know something? Look for Jazir. He'll be inside the barn. Yay! Are you Jazir? Need something? Are you the one in charge? I need some help. Talk to Jazir. Do you hear me? I forbid it! Father, please! Can't we talk no, about this? No, no! End of discussion! Fine! Fine! Eski! 
Wait, Esky! Dude, she's literally right there. Tell her whatever you want. Okay, anyway. Fucking dramatic. <laughs> I don't mean to interrupt. I'm looking for Jazir. I am Jazir. But if you want food, we have only bread. No, no, I, I don't need food. Listen, I'm from Haran, and I've come because I've heard that there are people here who are immune to the virus, that they don't turn, even if they get bitten. Oh. And who told you this? Uh, a dead man, I'm sorry to say. You might as well keep listening to him. I'll tell you no more than he. Fucking hell, why won't anybody help me? The virus is all over the city, people are dying. And yet, you still live. Take some bread, my friend, and go back to Haran. No one wants you here. All right, you fucking dick. No one wants you here. Up. Where's your daughter? I'm gonna ask her some questions. Lena, this is Crane. Do you copy? Damn, I want a fucking wasteland. Hey, yeah, you. Come here. Come on, come closer. I won't bite you. Don't worry. I ain't like the rest of these loonies. Yeah, I'm talking about you, you nut jobs. Oh, so you're not one of them? Why aren't they trying to run you off? Because I sell more shit than just bread. My name's Khan, by the way. Kyle Crane. Hey, you're from Haran, right? Bet you ran into my optically challenged buddy. What, you mean the guy with an eye missing? Yeah, that's the one. My boy, Kurt. How's he doing? Oh, uh, he, uh... Yeah, he, he didn't make it. Well, that's a damn shame. But, can't say I'm surprised. Maybe you can help me. Kurt said the people out here are immune to the virus. You know anything about that? Uh, now that you mention it, I don't remember any of the locals actually turning. Fucking wackos, they're in a damn cult. Led by some woman they called the mother. Used to be just a harmless local tradition, you know? They weren't serious about it. Well, they're goddamn serious these days. Ever since the outbreak, they scribble symbols everywhere, do these fucking rituals. I think they even pray to her. Okay, but what about this whole not turning thing? They on Antizen or what? Listen, I'm short a man now. And since I'm an entrepreneur, let's do business. Partner up, you and me. Buying anything, friend? Freaks. What kind of partnership you have in mind? Well, you need some information, and thanks to Kurt getting himself deceased, I need a driver with brains. I can show you something that might help you out, but we'll need to get some wheels first. You want a vehicle out here? Where am I supposed to find that? I'd look around the nearest farm, I were you. And hey, be discreet about it, all right? Well, hello there, Zumbis! Um... WHY ARE THEY TURNING THE FUCKING RUNNERS?! Ain't fucking nighttime yet? The hell? Oh, forgot to tell you. If you ain't got none, find yourself some weapons. The farm's abandoned almost. Wait, what? You. You forgot to tell me this? Well, they weren't important at the moment. Fucking fleas, you just can't get rid of them. No structure, no balls, no knack for business. <laughs> Sounds like we're off to a good start. Ah, don't be a drama queen. You can handle them. Listen, I gotta deal with some customers. Just give me a sign once you got the car.
Okay, how do I get out? I thought I could just smash through the damn door, but nah. to Congo. Hey! You're looking for Khan? He's gone. I guess they finally asked him to leave. Asked him to leave, huh? And what, at gunpoint? And who's they? They finally did what my father should have done a long time ago. And it suddenly got really nice and quiet around here, didn't it? You didn't answer my question. Of course I didn't. You're here for the same reason he was. Same reason the bandits won't leave us alone. And we're supposed to trust you? There's gotta be something I can do to convince you. You don't have to convince me. I don't care. Show everyone else you're here to give, not just to take. And I'm Eski, by the way. Kyle Crane, Eski. Can you give me some hints, at least? W w what do you guys need? I suppose I could help you out. Just remember, you'll have to return the favor one day. You got it. The groundwaters got polluted a while back. Imagine what would happen if you got our water running again. I assume there is a way to do this? Yes, there is. But it's in banded territory. Several men who volunteered to go there, well, they never came back. So I wouldn't recommend it. Unless you have a death wish. If you do, then just follow the pipeline. Okay, thank you, punk rock. <laughs> on the road again! Killing zombies over here on the road again! Oh shit, missing my destination on the road again. Well, hello, gentlemen. Over here, friend. Every new customer is a blessing. You are a, uh, you are a big boy. Hey, you got the same outfit I do. You're actually selling something out here? Water, crystal clear, no diarrhea afterburns. Tastes as if an angel stepped on your tongue, huh? One gallon for 10 pounds of food. We accept gold as well. 10 pounds of food for water? What, are you gonna start charging for air, too? Oh, we got us a haggler. Look down there, punk. See that? That's Roscoe. We turn hagglers over to him. Still want to haggle, huh? Tell you what, though. I might let you trade your ride for some water. Oh, fuck you, asshole. So be it. All right, boys. Fuck him up. I know damn well. Bitch! <laughs> All right, Roscoe. Oh, my God. 
Yeah, I forgot. Bitch. The hell is calling for help. Uh, you're not supposed to do that. Can't you just face through the fucking fence? Uh, I don't like this thing. <laughs> Hello? Got a fucking buzz axe! Like Hello! Alright, bitch. This is it for you! Oh, that fucking hurt! Yeah, it did it now. <laughs> that hurt too? One moment. Mm. Mm. Smell that sausage. <laughs> Jazir sent me. Well, Eski did. You're one of the three who got lost? The only one left. I am Ali. They got thrown to that... that beast. Okay, listen, Ali, this place has to be at least sort of operational. Otherwise, the bandits wouldn't have had any water. The bandits have water here, but there is none at the farm. Can we direct it? All right. Here goes nothing. Cross your fingers. If we did that right, in a couple of minutes there'll be water at the farm again. It's not working! Why is it not working? Oh, shit! Shit! They must have closed it! And this equipment's fucking ancient! If the pipes burst, we are all well and truly fucked! I'll get the valve open. Where is it? It's the shit out of me. All I know is it ain't here. Follow the pipeline! And for fuck's sake, hurry! Go! I'll keep trying on this end! Go! And hurry! <laughs> fuck out the way! Get the fuck out of the way! Goodness, I don't even know what fucking direction I'm going! Fuck. Excuse me! Coming through! Thank you! Ali, I'm at some kind of pumping station. The pipeline ends here. Then look for the main valve, goddammit! All this fucking alarm won't shut up!
Ali, I got it. But the place was already flooded, so now what? We just we just wait? Yes. Now it should just be a matter of time. So we're good? We're better than good. I think you just saved all our asses. Get back to the farm. I'll tell just here you're all right. You know, for a stranger. <laughs> Thank you, Kaya. I guess one man with a death wish can be a great help to those who just want to live in peace. But I don't have a death wish. I just can't stand bullies. Well, in any case, you really did something spectacular for the people here. Try talking with my father now. I bet his tune will change. Thanks, Eski. No. Thank you. Miracle. It's a damn miracle. Yeah. Water! Water! We have water! Mother is kind. Hip, hip, hooray! You don't even know what you just did for us. Our wells have been polluted for the last month, and people were getting sicker and sicker. Maybe I was wrong about you, stranger. So, any chance you'll answer my question now? About that medicine? Follow me, please. Vizier in Haran, we're running out of Antizen. I'm looking for anything that could save my friends. If you have anything... Yes, stranger, we do. We have our faith and our prayers to the mother. Faith? Uh, okay, I, I mean no disrespect, but you... You're telling me that prayers keep you from turning? That's your problem. You lack faith, just like the other outsiders. We believe in the Mother, and she protects us. We have no need of Antonsen, or whatever you said. Okay, okay, well, is there any way I could maybe speak with this Mother? She is sacred. She speaks only with those known as the Faceless. But maybe, maybe you could get them to notice you. If you do enough good for our community. At this point, I'll take anything. So what kind of good are you looking for? What, what needs to be done around here? You're serious about this? <laughs> All right, then. Me, I take care of this farm. And my friend Bilal keeps the gas station near town safe. Look around. You'll find more work than any one man could handle. New level of trust earned. You're now a stranger. What the fuck was I before? An outcast? <laughs> People, we just got wind of a new volatile hive from the Faceless. If you want to stay alive, don't go anywhere near Old Gloomy Ridge. Just avoid it and find alternate paths to the altars. And when I say anywhere near, I mean it. Jazir. This sounds like one fun ass mission. <laughs> Night is coming, my man. Night is fucking here. Lena, can you hear me? Lena? Crane, are you okay? What's going on? You've got us all worried. I'm fine, don't worry. But listen, your patient was right. There's this there's this group here, and all of its members seem to be immune to the virus. Immune? How is that possible? I don't know. They're protected by some local shaman type called the Mother. Only communicates through her priests. I'll try to get in touch with them, but these people don't trust outsiders for shit. Keep trying, but be careful. Probably look like the type of person that would not be careful. I do not. Okay, okay. So y'all remember the whole night vision thing that, you know, I might have come across in the blueprints? Yeah, I might want to use that. <laughs> I don't think I have any. <laughs> I'm gonna fucking die. 
Let me just make sure I'm reloaded on everything. Oh no, we ain't using that. We using a shotgun. My man. Hey, I found a corpse. I think it's one of your people. We appreciate you letting us know. Thank you. My brother in Christ. Oh my fuck! Okay. I don't know what happened, man. Yeah, shit was crazy. Anyway. Thank you. Okay. A little? Hello? Excuse me, you, uh, you the oh, owner no. here? No. Oh, no, no, no. Hey, hey, Nori, it's all right, buddy. Here you go. I'm Bilal. Uh, that's Nori, my brother. 
Kyle Crane. Pleasure to... Uh, oh, <laughs> sorry. So, what can I do for you, Kyle? Well, I, I heard the locals might need a hand with a few things. Oh, yeah. Jazir told me you'd come. I heard all about you. Listen, I, I, I'm just trying to help the people back in the city. Hey, helping the infected? You don't have to explain that to me. I get it. My bro got bitten about two months ago. Wait, two months? And he, and he hasn't turned? I couldn't believe it either, but hey, there he is, still in working order, unlike this wreck. Just take a look at the board over there. Jasir ain't lying. We could use plenty of help. And man, I'm envious of your ride. It's the only working vehicle I've seen for a while. Tell you what, if you bring it back here and let me look inside from time to time, I'll give it some tuning up, make it even sweeter. If you want to be helpful in the long run, take good care of it. I'm not exactly a mechanic. Then it's a good thing you're talking to me. Here's what you do. It'll be a long drive, but I bet my left hand it'll be worth it. There's a Silas truck stranded on a highway. Go give it a once-over, and if you find any useful parts, bring them to me. Reward paint jobs. Red paint job, blue paint job, green paint job, yellow paint job, paint jobs! What else we got? Oh, yay. Where do you? Keep an eye on your pantries, friends. Them damn monsters not only foul the graves of our loved ones, now they've taken a liking to our kin food. Arda saw one of them creatures near the cave at the beach. Maybe take a look there? I know it's risky, but damn people, camp food ain't easy to get these days. Bilal. What the fuck was that? Fuck. Power must be offline. We're working on the problem. You want to help us out with it? So, what do I have to do? First off, get this fuse to Ali at the plant. He can't do shit without it. Once you get the fuse to him, we'll get the power back. If he can keep from electrocuting himself, I mean. Guy thinks safety precautions are for pussies. <laughs> I see a guy trying to dig a broken light bulb out of the socket with a steel screwdriver while the power was on. <laughs> yup. Sounds like Ali. He means well anyway. So, listen friend. Two things need to happen. One, like I said, get him this fuse. Two, we need a working insulator. Or the fuse blows as soon as he flips the switch. He says the old ones will hold, but fuck me if I believe him. Um. Oh, so you're one of the faceless. Will you let me speak to the mother? You think she would speak with a stranger? No, but you are on the right path if you wish to join our ranks. Be patient. What's your name? Kyle Crane. You have a long road ahead of you, Kyle Crane. Do not stray from it. And may this help you in your struggle. That's all we have to say to you for now. Are you serious? You can leave now, newcomer. Huh. Hey, Jazeera, who drew this? Oh, that's not important. The kid keeps drawing them. I keep throwing them away. Well, but what's it about? Something the kid's hung up on. His mother took a job in Haran before the outbreak, left him with his grandparents. She was supposed to send him a gift, I guess. But you know what happened. It doesn't matter. Just toss it. <laughs> but it's wounded. Oh, 
where you go. I don't have a crossbow. Take mine and go. Fuck you and your crossbow. There's got to be another way. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Hey, who are you? That's the new guy from Jazir's. Nice crossbow. You boys hunting something? Yeah, a goddamn monster that's been stealing our food. I shot it, but it ran and hid in this cave. We would have finished it off, but you know what they say about wounded animals. I mean, it's not like we shot a rabbit, you know? Maybe you could go in after it. But we're farmers, not soldiers. <laughs> Hey, listen, please. Oh, Christ. Shit, o okay, I'm listening. There, in there, that's my child. Don't, don't let him die of hunger. Don't let him suffer. Probably from the little infected boy right here. Wow, that's all kinds of fucked up. No, no, no. It wasn't like that. He killed himself after all the shit went down. No, he didn't. I'm telling you. I've seen him with his wife. I've been here this whole fucking time. I ain't lying, motherfucker. She looked better, like cured, maybe. Now I know you're lying. Nobody gets their mind back after that kind of shit. I'm telling you, man. Seen it with my own eyes. No way. He killed himself. She died. Kid wound up on the streets. Got it in her head she was a witch hunter or some shit. Who? The second kid? No, dumbass. The first one. Yeah, well, no witches around here. Just fucking zombies. They always drank too much. They got drunk, hit her, she miscarried. Everything went downhill after that. He didn't kill himself. You know so much? Then where is he, huh? You gonna lead the way? <laughs> In the middle of all this zombie garbage? Are you out of your fucking mind? Ah, oh, fuck it. Pretty soon we'll be rich. Won't have to worry about him and whether he's dead or alive or whatever. Yeah? Plan's good. I worry, though. You've heard about this stranger? Heard about what now? Some asshole doing all their dirty work for them. If they don't got balls to do something, he steps in. Guns blazing, huh? Come on. That's superhero bullshit. Grow the fuck up. That's just what I heard, is all? Yeah. You heard bullshit. Jesus Christ! Will you two shut the fuck up already? Some people are trying to sleep here. We can sleep once this is done, man. I am gonna sleep now. And you better get some shut-eye too. Who you think's gonna carry all the loot? Shit. Motherfucker's right. Okay, okay, just stop whining. I'll whine your fucking head off when we're done with this. Shut up, both of you. What's on her door here? Don't shoot for God's sake. <gasps> what the hell? What's going on? He's here! Get him! No! No! no. You hear me? Oh! Oh my God! What's going on? Don't hurt me. 
<sighs> I give up. I give up. You scared the shit out of me. Turn off that flashlight. All right. All right, Chief. You got it. But I've seen this uniform before. You're what's left of Rise's gang, huh? We're... I, I don't know. Exactly. They didn't tell me. I just joined. Quit lying, asshole. What are you fuckers doing out here? I don't know. I don't know. You understand I'm a hair away from killing you, right? Okay. Okay. I'll talk. But all I know is the boss had a plan. Poison the water supply. Loot everybody. We brought some corpses. Threw them in the water. Jesus, you sick bastards. Who's your boss? Where is he? I don't know. I, I told you. I just joined. I didn't want to do it. I swear. Yeah, just following orders? Let's find out what Jazeera has to say about that. See if he's in the mood to hear excuses. Come on, Chief. Don't do it. They'll fucking lynch me. I'm not gonna die. Not like that. All right, fuck. Just here, I'm at the pumping station. Send some people here ASAP. And don't let anyone drink this water. What happened? Some bandits threw corpses into the water. Clean out the bodies and the water should clear up again. You got that? Of course. Thank you. We'll take care of it as soon as possible. Appreciate that. Th
What the hell? What the hell did they do to you? I had been shown the error of my ways. They had opened my eyes to the truth, to the light. Holy shit. Talk about drinking the Kool-Aid. <laughs> Mother, blessed by the sun, we praise you. Mother, blessed by the sun, we praise you. Mother, embraced by the wind, we trust you. Mother, embraced by the wind, we trust you. Mother, radiant with grace, come to us. Children of the sun, accept the mother's gift and stay true to her path. For your suffering, the mother thanks you. What, what, what is this? <coughs> Why are you taking me? Shit! <laughs> Remain true to the path, stranger, for it has only just begun. Kyle. What's, what, what's happening to me? Accept me. Oh, this, this can't be happening. You are a can't be. Your destiny and mine are intertwined. Meridia? I don't have this, your damn beacon! This can't be happening. Can't be. Believe in me, Kyle, as I believe in you. Who are you? The hell just... So, so the biter that didn't attack me, I, I dreamed that? The biter was real, but don't try it again. You're not protected by Mother's aura anymore. However, your soul and blood have been cleaned. Your resistance to the virus will last as long as you stay on the right path. Put your faith in the Mother. Continue what you started, and your questions shall be answered. Fantastic. We will contact you. From the grave. <laughs> Lena? Come on, come on, Lena! Kyle! Kyle! Lena, thank God. Listen, listen to me. I don't know how long it'll last, but I'm immune. I saw her, the, the mother. She spoke to me. I was... I was in like a, like a trance, and the, the zombies, they didn't attack me. Lena? Hello? Shit. Alright, well, I'm gonna leave this episode of Dying Light the following here. Uh, this episode had a lot of- a lot of- ow. Oh, never mind, I thought I'd do something. This episode had a lot of, um, a lot of side quests to it. But, until the next episode of Dying Light the following, and whatever the mother has in store for us. So, anyway, with that, I hope y'all enjoyed today's video, and I'll see you on the next one. And as always, my fellow orcs and orc kin, I hope y'all have a wonderful rest of your day.